microphone. There we go. Okay, let's start. Hi, I'm Sierra. I'm a fifth grade teacher, a filmmaker, and a matchmaker. Yes, a matchmaker. Not exactly like Yenta from Fiddler on the Roof. Other than our shared Jewish heritage, Yenta and I, not so much in common. I'm a foreign exchange matchmaker for local Montana families and brave international teens. It was my destiny to join this unique profession. From an early age, my family hosted students from Spain, Russia, and Japan. This is eight-year-old me with Satomi, our Japanese exchange student. She taught me how to sing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star and how to make origami cranes. I still remember both today. At age 19, I did a summer study abroad program in Guayaquil, Ecuador. I lived with a family and I bonded a lot with my two sisters, Micah and Malu. They helped me with my English homework and I helped them with their Spanish homework. Living with them was a huge cultural experience, not just tourism. No AC, Wi-Fi, or drinkable tap water. We spent most of our time around the kitchen enjoying meals prepared by my host mom. Fried plantains, rice, and beans. The kitchen was always filled with fast-speaking Spanish, laughter, and of course, salsa dancing. I'm so grateful to my host family. With social media, we've stayed in touch. In 2018, I returned to Ecuador and me, familia. I reconnected with my host sisters and I got to meet their children and their husbands. Now, they also have AC and Wi-Fi. In a decade, I've matched over 100 international teens with their Montana families. August is when that new batch of students arrives. Often nervous to meet their families, those homemade signs are a really nice touch. I get to witness these precious moments when a new family is created. I host a welcome barbecue for students and their host families. Students get to share about their early experiences in Montana, and the host families can build a support network. This year, I have students from Brazil, Spain, Germany, Italy, Czech Republic, South Korea, Slovakia, and Sweden. We make s'mores around a campfire. Many have never tried it, so it's really awesome to witness their first impressions of those melty mallows sandwiched between graham crackers and chocolate. Kraft mac and cheese is another fun food to try. Usually gets a love or a hate reaction. It's not always a perfect match. If needed, I rematch students to new families mid-year. Emily joined our family just for the holidays, or so I thought. By New Year's, we had officially asked her to join our family. As the saying goes, we kept the puppy. Emily quickly became my daughter from Denmark and a big sister to my kids. I remember a really special night with lots of candles shining, our Hanukkah menorah, my son's birthday, and a Danish Christmas candle. She taught us about celebrations that they did in Denmark, and we got to incorporate them into our celebrations that year. What's it like to host an exchange student when you have kids? Life-changing. Emily was so interactive and playful with my kids, always baking cookies, playing in the snow, reading stories. Emily did not have time to feel homesick when she had two young siblings always ready to play. Most American kids don't get to see much of the world. The gift of an exchange student can really open their eyes to more than what's in Montana. Kids will grow up with the knowledge of diverse cultures, ideas, be inspired to travel or even study abroad. We celebrated Emily's 17th birthday and we watched her get dressed up for prom. We went to Yellowstone, hiked the M. We became tourists in Montana through her fresh perspective. The hardest part of the whole experience was saying goodbye in June with teary eyes. We knew she'd forever be part of our family. Saying goodbye is always hard, but then Sometimes we get to say hello again. In 2017, my husband and I went to Thailand, and two of my former students toured us all over Bangkok, including the Grand Palace. Those global friendships that I had built over my years made travel abroad even better. Last summer, I 
accidentally went to Europe alone. Um, my husband was supposed to go, but due to passport problems, I ended up solo. Um, pro tip, make sure you have at least six months on your passport before it's set to expire, um, because last minute passports are a thing of the past. Two weeks solo, then Barcelona. I reached out to a former student, Bernat, who had lived in Bozeman. He was thrilled to meet up and be my guide inside the Sagrada Familia, designed by Gaudi. After 100 years, still not finished. Maybe it'll be completed by the next time I visit. I love to give students the full Montana experience. Horseback riding, skiing, sledding, hot springs, hiking up in highlight, visiting Yellowstone, going on a winter sleigh ride, and even a cabin overnight. Now, sometimes I'm such a good matchmaker that families can't decide on just one student to host, so they can host two for double the cultural fun. The Bruce family is hosting Pablo from Spain and Christopher from Germany. Double hosting is also a great option for those that think their student might get lonely without other kids. If you're thinking of hosting an exchange student or doing a study abroad, just take that leap of faith with your arms wide open, like I did when I was in Brazil and I jumped off a mountain cliff. I promise that foreign exchange is a lot less risky and just as exciting as, a, as an adventure. Let's make some dreams come true for some brave international teams. Share your love of Montana while embracing a new culture. In the words of John Lennon, you may say I'm a dreamer, but I'm not the only one. I hope someday you'll join us and the world will be as one. Thank you. Please host an exchange student. I'll see you at intermission.